What's up guys, welcome to another episode. I am your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this episode we're going to be talking about the today calendar for the Android platform. Now this is going to be the, I'd say probably one of the more better looking uh, Android applications as far as calendars come, uh, especially when it you're using it on both a smartphone and or a tablet. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up real quick. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Now your colors may be different if you open it up for the first time, but I'll show you how to change those in a second. But the really nice thing about that is actually, let me make sure my screen is rotated. So hopefully that this rotates with it. Um, but what I wanted to go ahead and show is that, you know, it's very nice that um, I don't have any of my calendar showing right now just because I don't want to kind of put that personal information out there. But the nice thing about the original view that you will see is the very top shows you your date. So you can come in here and pick that. Uh, you can come up here and then just touch that and it'll take you to where you are. You can touch, I believe you can touch the month. Oh no, sorry, so you just scroll down and you can just go ahead and switch through the months. Go ahead and touch that button and it'll pick you right back to the very, you know, wherever date it is. And then at the very bottom, if I had anything on that day, it would show me like my agenda list. But the nice thing is, is when I rotate it to the side, that is what it looks like. So as you can see, it has a very nice materialistic look to it. Uh, on tablets, it looks even better, which I will start making videos here in the next few days about tablet videos. Uh, so keep in tune with that. And when I turn it back around, I just want to go ahead and show is that when I pull over to this side, you can see that uh, based on my location, it's telling me partly cloudy, 57 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So the first view that you see is going to be the split view. That is this one right here. The agenda is going to be just a purely uh, agenda list. So it's not going to be in, uh, you know, it's not going to show empty days. It's just going to show you exactly the next time that you have an agenda and it's just going to keep it in chronological order. Uh, then you can go to a single day and manipulate it that way. Go to a week, see it this way. And again, if I turn these sideways, uh, they're very, you know, uh, very appealing to work with, especially in tablets. Uh, then, of course, there's the month and invites. So if I have any invites uh, sent to me, I can then, you know, either have one opened uh, accepted, not sure, or declined. Uh, in the calendar section, that is where I would pick the calendars that I want, but it shows me my email address, so I don't want to go ahead and do that. Uh, in the settings, that's where you can come in here and change your primary color, so I will do that blue. Secondary color, let's do an orange. Back on out. We'll go to the original view, and look what we have right here. It's a nice little blue and orange. So if you see that little uh, pop-up, the little plus sign right here, that is going to be where I'm going to add. So I need to add an account, obviously, if it wants to sync it. Uh, from here, this is where I can kind of do all this, you know, manipulate it the way you can do normal stuff. Going back into the settings, I have the option of doing a dark theme. So I'm going to back out. There's my dark theme. This is something that I personally like. This kind of has that original material look for anybody that remembers what Android 5.0 looked like before it actually we got released. This is kind of the color scheme. Um, going back into the settings, uh, there's obviously going to be a busy body. There's going to be, you know, how many days are my week. So you can do a five day, seven day, whatever you want to do there. Uh, quick event loop. Oops. So you get rid of all that. Trying to get a hotel deal. Some of my friends that are working in the hotel industry. Uh, but anyways, back to this. I can come in here and change my Fahrenheit or Celsius. High decline event. Show week number. Start. Uh, week starts on Monday. That's when I like to do that because Sunday is when I turn in my time log. Uh, use your home time zone. So that's when you're traveling. You can keep everything related to your home. So let's say you uh, work uh, you know, work at a certain location, but you travel somewhere, but you want to make sure that all your events you're keeping up to date with, you know, where your work is actually located. That's probably a good idea. Clear your search history, uh, get notifications, change your sound, all that, you know, all the, the basic stuff. Uh, you can also go ahead and add some quick responses, which is kind of nice. Um, but again, you need to make sure that you add a calendar to it. Then you're going to have the widget settings. And from the same thing as you'll be able to manipulate your two widgets, which is going to be the agenda or the month settings. Uh, sorry, uh, the way you do it. And then you can just come in here, make a few changes to it. Back out uh, the month settings as well. You can do that as well. Uh, that's how it all looks. So I'm going to see if I can do this really quick. So here's going to be the month view, as you can see right here. 
uh, you just come in here and kind of make some changes about some stuff. So you can see I just have one calendar enabled just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, and this is going to be the agenda view. So as you can see, it goes from March 29th to April 5th because I don't have anything in between right there. So that's why I like that personally, uh, just because it kind of keeps things a little bit more simpler, I guess would be the easy way of putting it. Uh, but anyways, that is going to be the today launcher or sorry, the today calendar. It is free to download. They do have a pro version where a few more, uh, you know, little things open up for it. Uh, but I would definitely recommend trying out the free version for some time and do it that way. Uh, I think this is just a, a little more useful uh, calendar when it comes to using these over the, you know, while getting the looks. Uh, a lot of calendars are either really good for productivity but don't have the look feature, or some of them look really good but they don't have the all the productivity features to make it a really useful camera. Uh, but as always, if you do have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.